Did you know that 100% of people would prefer not to have genital herpes? Okay, so that might not be the most valuable statistic. But it is 100% clear that knowing what causes genital herpes and how to treat and prevent it is super important. In this video, we'll tackle those topics. So what is genital herpes? Genital herpes is an infection caused by a virus called the herpes simplex virus, or HSV for short. And it's an extremely common infection. Over 18 million people in the U.S. have genital herpes, including more than one out of every six people between the ages of 14 to 49. And so chances are that you know someone who has genital herpes, but they might not know that they have it. Genital herpes is a chronic infection. Once the virus gets inside your body, it sticks around for the rest of your life, and it can affect the body in different ways. Here's how it works. You get genital herpes through sex, which means all sexual contact, including vaginal, oral, or anal sex. After getting genital herpes, many people develop blisters or sores on their penis or vagina, or the skin around this area, including the buttocks and thighs. These sores can be pretty painful. The sores go away within a few weeks, even without medicine, but the virus doesn't. Some people have other symptoms too, like fever. After the sores go away, HSV actually stays in your nerves, but doesn't cause any problems. During this time, it can also be found in the semen or vaginal fluid, even though it isn't causing any sign or symptoms there either. It's important to know this because if you have genital herpes, you can spread it to your sexual partners even when you have no symptoms at all. After they're first infected, some people develop sores again, sometimes multiple times throughout their life but usually these outbreaks are not as painful and don't last as long. But most of the time, people with genital herpes have no symptoms and do not have sores. And some people never develop symptoms. This means that a lot of people with genital herpes don't even know that they have it, and so they don't know to be cautious. All of this results in the virus spreading easily. So how do you get genital herpes? HSV spreads from person to person through direct contact during sex, which means vaginal, oral, or anal sex with someone who has genital herpes. The chances of getting HSV is higher when a person with genital herpes has sores or blisters. But you can get HSV even if your partner doesn't have sores now or has never had them at all. This is because HSV can be found in semen or vaginal fluid even when there are no physical signs of infection. In addition to sexual transmission, a mother with genital herpes can pass HSV to their baby. So is a cold sore the same as herpes? Cold sores are actually an oral herpes infection, but it's usually caused by a different type of HSV virus. There are two types of HSV, HSV1 and HSV2. HSV2 causes most general herpes infections, and HSV1 causes most of the cases of oral herpes. Because cold sores are caused by herpes virus, another name for cold sores is oral herpes. Despite the similar names, not everyone with cold sores has general herpes. But if you have oral sex with someone who has cold sores, you could still get genital herpes. How can you avoid getting infected or spreading genital herpes? The only way to completely avoid getting genital herpes is to avoid sex. And while this may be effective at preventing the transmission of genital herpes, it's not practical for most people. So how do you protect yourself during sex? Condoms, condoms, condoms. The most important way to reduce your chances of getting genital herpes is to use a physical layer of protection during sex. Latex condoms provide good protection when used correctly, but they can only protect the area that they cover. Contact with areas not covered by the condom can still lead to transmission. So while using condoms is an absolute must to avoid spreading HSV, sexual contact always presents some risk of spreading genital herpes. Besides physical protection, there are antiviral medications that we use to treat genital herpes. 
In addition to helping relieve the symptoms of genital herpes, these medications can also reduce the chances of spreading the virus. But these medications don't replace the effectiveness of condoms, and condoms are still your best defense. When someone with genital herpes has blisters or sores, they should avoid sex until they're completely healed. The risk of passing genital herpes to another person is higher when sores are present. Okay, let's recap. Genital herpes is an infection caused by a virus called the herpes simplex virus, or HSV. Genital herpes can cause blisters or sores on the genital area and surrounding skin. These blisters or sores go away within a few weeks, even without medication, but the virus doesn't. Genital herpes is a lifelong infection and some people develop these sores and blisters again. Most of the time though, people with genital herpes have no symptoms at all. The best way to avoid getting and preventing spread of genital herpes is to use condoms and avoid sex when any blisters or sores are present. Reach out to your healthcare provider if you have questions or concerns, or visit some of the websites listed below for more information. Mm -hmm.